Our reporter Criselda Lewis is on standby at that story. Criselda, a very welcome back to you. Uh, what is happening? What, how's the campaign unfolding where you are? Well, a very good morning to you, Desiree. Well, of course, you would know that uh, over the next couple of days, a lot of focus uh, will be put on uh, back to school, some of the schools reopening, of course, on Wednesday. And uh, what is taking place here behind me, a police parade, uh, an operation uh, between the Johannesburg Metro Police Department in conjunction with uh, the National Department of Transport. Indeed, you did indicate the Deputy Minister of Transport, Cindy Chikunga, expected here in the next uh, few moments, where they will be conducting a roadblock. But uh, this particular roadblock, Desiree, uh, specifically focused on uh, scholar transportation. Of course, with some of those schools reopening on Wednesday, a lot of focus uh, that law enforcement agencies will put on is scholar transportation. The transportation being used to transport, uh, uh, you know, these uh, learners who will start or go back to school uh, on Wednesday, checking if they're compliant, checking if the drivers have the right uh, documentation to transport uh, those children. So a lot of this roadblock here, I'll just step out of shot uh, uh, for a second there. You would see that this... Um, a parade is about to take place at the moment. Uh, there's a moment of silence that will be held uh, in the next few moments. And uh, chock-a-block here towards the Paklui Interchange. This is where the Johannesburg Metro Police Department, as well as uh, the National Transport Department, are embarking on uh, this operation. So a lot of that focus, uh, but I guess if you're on this road, uh, you won't be spared. While much of the focus, Desiree, as I indicated, will be on scholar transportation, uh, any of the cars that are going past here, I guess, uh, a lot of those checks uh, towards the beginning of the year, you'd know as well that uh, some of those uh, uh, who did not return to work last week, a uh, majority of South Africans also returning to work uh, today. So uh, police out in their numbers, law enforcement agencies, not just at this particular spot, but at other spots around uh, the country and other spots, uh, spots around here uh, in Gauteng, trying to ensure uh, that motorists do uh, comply uh, with the rules and the regulations of the road and in particular when it comes to this particular um, uh, um, uh, roadblock we're talking about scholar transportation which we understand is going to be key focus uh, of this particular operation here this morning and Criselda just uh, in terms uh, of uh, the readiness of uh, uh, the police officials uh, in your background uh, to report for duty are they excited about the prospects Well, it certainly looks so, uh, Desiree, uh, given the fact that uh, there seemed to have been uh, a directive, of course, uh, from, uh, you know, uh, police to ensure that, uh, you know, as the year starts, as many people start uh, going back to work now, and of course, with the uh, lockdown level uh, restrictions, of course, uh, having been eased, uh, of course, this way back in December already, uh, there's really going to be a need for law enforcement agencies uh, to be out on the road in particular to check, uh, you know,